If you aren't using Pinterest already for your business, start now. Seriously, it's going to drive a crazy amount of free organic traffic to your business. Today, I'll show you exactly how to create multiple pins with best practices to help you go viral. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and every week I bring you graphic design tutorials or I share tips on creating and selling digital products online. If you're hoping to build an online business and grow a digital product empire, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Pinterest is my first go-to platform for promoting new or existing products and I can tell you it drives the most traffic to my shop and website. I managed to grow to 1 million monthly viewers on Pinterest in a short time and now it's your turn to blow up your account. Before we get started, if you missed my video on Pinterest tips to skyrocket your traffic, definitely check that out after this. I'll link it in the description box down below for you. I share how to switch your personal account to a business account on Pinterest, how to find the best keywords for your pins and boards, and so much more. Now without further ado, let's hop onto my computer and create some beautiful pins following Pinterest best practices. Okay, we're going to use Canva because it's a free platform and it's super easy to use. So just go up to the search bar and type in Pinterest pin and click here. And all these templates are going to pop up that you can use and swap out your own images or change the fonts and the colors. If you don't find a template that you want to start off with, then just go to create a blank Pinterest pin. So now you have a blank artboard that you can work with. It's a two to three ratio, which is what Pinterest recommends. So for this example, I'm going to create three pins at a time. So you can just click here, add page, and I'm just going to create three artboards and work on them at the same time. Now, if you look on the left-hand side here, go to uploads, and this is where you can upload images that you want to use. So all the stock images I use, I will either get it from pixabay.com or Pexels, or I will purchase it from Creative Market. If you don't know what Creative Market is, it's an amazing platform where you can purchase graphics and fonts that you can use commercially. I will leave my link in the description box down below if you want to sign up. It's totally free to sign up. And the great thing about it is you get six free goodies every Monday that you are allowed to use. So first I wanna show you Pixabay and how you can get free images. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna type in the search bar here, desk flat lay. So scroll through these and see if there's any that you would like and that you want to use for your pin. So for example, if I wanted this one, I would just click free download or right click and save image as, and then I will upload it onto Canva. Okay, so over here you'll see I've already uploaded three stock images, but to upload a stock image, just go to upload media and go to device, and then you can go through your folders and upload your images. So let's start with this one. Now, one tip I did not mention in my last video is that Pinterest favors fresh pins, which means Pinterest wants to see images that they've never seen before. So I have used this image before in this orientation, but you can use the same image, zoom in at certain points to make it a fresh pin. So I'm just gonna do that for now. And then I'll place my other stock images on the other artboards so that I can work on them at the same time. So I'm gonna zoom in on this one. And then finally, I'll put this stock image and rotate it this way. Okay, so let's start with the first pin. So over here, I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm going to add a box. Just going to extend that. Over here, you can change the color. So I'm gonna change it to a white and I'll change the transparency to let's say 90. So it's a little bit clear. Now I wanna add the words on the pin. So I'm actually creating pins for this specific video on how to create pins that go viral. So go to text on the left-hand side and click on add a heading. Just going to make that bigger. I'm going to put in caps, how to create viral pins for Pinterest. Okay, now I want to highlight viral pins. So I'm gonna go back to elements and add another box. And first I wanna change this color to match the flowers a little bit. So if you click on color, here it shows photo colors. So I can change it to more of a light pink that matches the flowers. And then I'm just going to make it smaller here and then send it behind viral pins. So right click and click on send backward. 
Okay, so what I like about this pin is that the words are very bold and it's really important that people can read the words very easily. You can add some script fonts in there and sometimes I do, but I find that the more clear the words are and pretty the image is, the more clickable and shareable they are. Okay, so let's go to my second fresh pin. This time I'm going to add the words in the white space down here. So go back to text, add a heading. And this time I'm going to write how to go viral on Pinterest. I do switch up the words usually because I want to add some variety to my pins. Okay, this time I will make Pinterest a script font, but still very legible. So I'll go with this one here. And this time I want to add a pink watercolor behind Pinterest. So go to elements, scroll down and find gradients. Okay, so I like this one here. It's very light and subtle. Just going to extend it and right click, send to back. Okay, so something just super clean and simple like that. And then this one here, I'm going to type in the middle. So go to text and add a heading. And for this one, I'll put how to create pins in Canva. And I'm going to add another box behind this one. Okay, so let's highlight pins again. And there you have it. I just created three pins with Canva. All you have to do at the top here, just go to download and click on JPEG, and then it will download all three of these pins for you. So the most important things to know here is make sure that you are using vertical pins. So two to three ratio, make sure you're creating a lot of fresh pins. So different images, maybe different stock photos, zoom in and out of the stock photos, change up the words, the colors, maybe even the fonts and try to stick within your color palette of your brand. So for example, my brand is very girly. So I use a lot of pinks, golds, maybe a little bit of greenery. So make sure it's super cohesive to your Pinterest pins and boards. Definitely play around with Canva and see what you can come up with and just start creating and pinning. Also, again, make sure to check out my last video talking all about keywords to just make sure that you are ranking. Also a tip for you, when you save your images, make sure that you title them with keywords that you've done research for. So again, check out my video on how to do your keyword research and make sure you're using keywords in those files because I believe in using keywords everywhere to help you get ranked and found. So now you know how to create beautiful shareable pins for your Pinterest account, but what about staying consistent with your pinning schedule and finding the right keywords to rank higher in search? I've created this free guide here that will help you grow your business with Pinterest, which I will link for you in the description box down below so you can go ahead and grab your copy. Next, I recommend you check out my video on how to use Pinterest to drive traffic to your shop, followed by my video on how to enable and create rich pins. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.